Um, so I'm going to take you through a very simple Pythagorean theorem problem. So the first step is um, knowing the basic formula of what what to apply. So as you can see, we have three unknowns that we're looking for. The length, the width, and the diagonal. Um, we're not given any of the dimensions, but we have a formula that relates these three factors of a rectangle, and that is through the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and that general formula, so is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, and this is in terms of a, a triangle. So when we have our uh, rectangle, we can see that there's two sides and there's a diagonal. So this side is known as the length. We're going to label that as x because we are told that um, the width is four feet less than the length, which means that the easiest way to understand this is the length would be x and the width would therefore be x minus four. We're also told that the diagonal is four feet longer than the length and the diagonal goes from here to here. Um, and since our length is x, this would make our diagonal x plus 4. Now, uh, how exactly do we apply this equation? a squared refers to one side of a triangle, a right triangle. b squared refers to another side of a triangle. c squared refers to the longest side of the triangle, the diagonal. So once we plug in the values, we can see that we have x squared plus x minus 4 squared, so that's x the length, x minus 4 the width, both of which are squared, equals, let me move this over, the diagonal squared, which is x plus 4 squared. Now this is simply a algebra problem, and we just have to solve for x. So let's factor this whole thing out. We get x squared plus x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals x squared plus 8x plus 16. Let's bring this down. So the next line would be, we can see that these x squared become 2x squared. Um, but what we can see is we have an x squared on this side, so we can just leave it as x squared on one side, and this would be minus 16x if we bring this 8x over to this side, subtract it over, um, and these plus 16 and plus 16 both cancel out, so we are remained with this equals to 0. Uh, the reason I put all these variables on one side is because I knew that we would have to solve for x. So to factor this out, it would be x times x minus 16 equals 0. Now there are two possible solutions for x. One is x equals 0, as you can see, because that would make, if x is 0, this whole thing equals 0. So what are the two values of x that make this equation true? One is x equals 0 because of this, and the other is x equals 16 because of this. And for rational sake, we know that there can't be two exact answers, and we also know that 0 is not a viable answer because 0 is not a length. So we know that 16 is going to be our answer. So our solution would be length, which is our x equals 16. What are our units? We see that they're in feet. The width is equal to 16 minus 4, which is 12 feet. And the diagonal equals 16 plus 4, which is 20 feet. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful.